Okay guys, we're here with an Ender 3 Max with what I believe to be a double clog. That is where there's a clog in the hot end at the Bowden tube and a clog in the nozzle. What I believe causes this is the nozzle clogs first, then jams up the Bowden tube. First, I'm gonna show you a way to clear a difficult nozzle clog. Then I'm gonna show you the way to inspect and clear a Bowden tube and nozzle clog. Okay fellas, so your Ender 3 has clogged this one's a max you're not sure why you can't get the filament out this is what we're gonna do go in your menu go to prepare go to preheat PLA click on preheat PLA end or you can simply go into your menu and set the temperature to like 200 210 of course we're gonna wait for it to get up the temperature okay keeping in mind it might be time to clip off the tip of your Bowden tube or replace the nozzle. We're gonna start with the easiest solution first. That is to heat up your bed and try pushing filament into the hot end and removing it. Fingers on the filament, push and pull. Nothing's happening. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the top Bowden tube. Pull off the blue clip on your Bowden tube. Then unscrew the coupler on the extruder. Now you're going to take your trusty clippers and clip the end off your filament. Remember not to let your filament backlash. It could knot up if you do that. You're going to squeeze your extruder and slide this out. There you go. Now you've got your hands on the filament. If you have something holding your tube in place, Take it off. And now that it's hot, you're gonna grab this with something strong and pull straight up gently and slowly. And there it goes. Typically it'll pull out more smoothly, but because I was recording, you know it's never gonna work out. But as you can see, let go of the nozzle and it popped out there was a little deformity in there and now you can go ahead put it back together and test again if you continue to have problems you need to pull this Bowden tube right here and make sure that there's no deformation or gunk in there okay guys while we're here we're gonna go ahead now and check our Bowden tube to do that we're gonna pull this blue clip we are gonna unscrew this fitting right here and with the printer hot we're gonna apply gentle pressure upward little wiggle and pull that Bowden tube out. As you can see, it's burnt and disgusting and black. There's goop on it. So we're gonna take our blue Bowden clipper and cut off the end of that Bowden tube. As you can see now, it's nice and clean. We'll take the tube, put it back in, all the way down as far as we'll go, and then re-screw this coupler. Now that this is back together, you might as well check out the nozzle. I'm taking off this rubber boot. You see what's happening to mine? It's falling apart. The rubber boot is no good. The silicone boot is no good. Need to replace that. Pro tip, this is not what a silicone boot is supposed to look like. Let's pop that nozzle off. And there it is. I don't know if you can see that. It's all clogged up with black gunk and whatnot. This nozzle has to go. Grab our new nozzle. Stick it up in there. If you'd like, you can use a fancy number six and just gently tighten it. If you feel like your hot end moved a bit, you can just grab it and just straighten it back out. And there you have it. Don't forget to put your blue clip back on.
Don't forget, now that you've changed your nozzle, you may need to adjust your Z offset a touch.